As always, welcome back to the channel, uh, MCAS Performance and Off-Road. So today we're going to be installing a tailgate LED. Uh, it's a three-row LED um, tailgate light by Op7 lighting. Um, we looked at a couple other ones, the Putco Blade, this one, um, one by, I think, uh, MIC Tuning, MIC Tuning, however you pronounce it. Um, I like the, the MIC Tuning one, but it had a split from what it looked like right in the center. Um, and it was two separate bars is, is what the, the videos looked like that I saw. Um, so we opted to go with the Op7. All right, so the reason that we opted uh, to go with the LED uh, tailgate light bar was because when backing up, it's kind of hard to see um, with these factory uh, lights. They don't really light uh, a great distance. And so on really dark driveways and things like that, um, we were looking for ways to light it up. Uh, one of the options was cube lights um, installed down here underneath the bumper. Um, I didn't really like the way that that was gonna look. So uh, when I found a LED tailgate light bar, um, that would light with the reverse. I thought that might be a good option. So we're gonna try this out. Um, the kit comes with the four pin harness to plug in. So we'll use this one um, just to test it and make sure we have the turn signals going the right way and all that stuff to correspond to the right turn signal. Um, but then we're gonna hardwire this in um, probably using a another four pin connector. We'll do another pigtail like we've done all the other stuff. One thing I would advise against um, are these connectors. Um, these can tend to split wires and um, not make good contact sometimes. They come apart um, occasionally, I'd say, but um, I just don't prefer this method of connection. Uh, some guys might, they're quick, they're easy. Um, I just don't prefer this this style. So aside from that, um, they do tell you to take the tailgate off, um, and then we'll probably actually end up blocking access to this. Um, I'm not too concerned about it. It does come with some additional clips that I had here somewhere. Here they are. The additional clips are right here, so the light bar will clip on in addition to, I think, uh, just being like double-sided sticky tape, so you could probably get some 3M. Um, but they want you to clean the surface really good first. Um, and then I'm guessing there's a packet of adhesion promoter or something like that um, that is in here somewhere. So we'll find that. And then you'll apply it here uh, after you clean it, and then you'll you'll sticky it onto the truck. So let's uh, let's go ahead and move forward with the video. All right, so it does come with um, the four pin connector wired in already. Um, and then we have the other side of the harness. I guess this would tie into your truck, so we could do that as well. Um, and then there's a white wire here that you run up to your uh, reverse light um, on the tail light itself. Um, so we'll end up doing that for sure. Um, I don't know if I wanna solder that in or just put a spade connector on it of some sort, or maybe we've got a one wire connection that we can piggyback off of. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Here's a little clips uh, and a little packet of, little packet of stuff was right here um, for the adhesion booster. It's probably like an adhesion promoter. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna plug it in uh, to your, your, uh, your trailer lights, and you just wanna check and make sure all of these work. Um, we won't be able to test the reverse function until we get it wired up. Um, but you definitely want to test like brakes, turn signals, all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that really quick too. So left turn. So the op seven is facing to the left. All right, we got our right. So that's correct. All right, your hazards are gonna flash like this. All right, we did check our brakes, but unfortunately you can't see that um, because we had to step on the brakes uh, up in the front um, and I don't have a stand for the camera. So um, I just kinda let it shine off of the 
off the wall and watched it. Uh, this light is actually pretty nice, I think. Um, it feels like it's siliconed um, all the way across uh, with the lights in it. So hopefully it'll hold up um, a lot better than some of the other brands I've had. So we'll go ahead and get this thing um, wired up and, and going. All right, guys, so what I did was I actually took out the, um, the trailer light uh, wiring module, I guess is what you'd, I'd call it, plug module. Um, I just disconnected it from here, pulled it out, um, and this will allow me to get better access to here, and then we can go ahead and splice in our harness, um, and then it'll run back up around here, and we'll zip tie it up and all that stuff. I cleaned up here uh, with just an IPA solution, um, isopropyl alcohol solution that I mixed up. I think it's like 10 or 12% um, alcohol with, uh, rubbing alcohol with um, water, distilled water. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and uh, we got that cleaned and then we'll figure out where we're gonna mount everything else. I'm looking at some of these little holes right here um, and rather than drilling um, new holes into the bed, I'm thinking I might just use some of the existing holes and just run these screws through them and secure them to maybe here because there's two of them right here that I might be able to get to. Um, and then you, you avoid screwing into the bed and like causing any more holes than you need. I went ahead and I just pulled um, the little piece that the protective ring for here for the, uh, the spare tire. Um, I'm gonna pull this out because it's gotta be bed lined anyways um, later on. So, but this stuff is, just chipping off. Anyways, all right, so we're gonna go ahead. We got that out of the way. Um, you've got another piece here that's probably, that this just holds up your harness. Um, so I might just have to go above it or something, but we'll see, this holds the harness for the tailgate itself. Um, so maybe we can take it and put it somewhere else, zip tie it somewhere. Um, if we even have to move this, I don't know yet. All right guys, so we got everything uh, spliced in here. Uh, we tested the light bar, it works. Um, we're about to go ahead and wire the reverse light 
into our reverse light connector. Um, so white on white, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut, splice, um, and probably that's it. Uh, we might use this weather pack connector here or something. I don't know yet. Um, but anyways, we're just gonna tidy this up and then our light will be installed. All right guys, so we got this almost wired. Um, all we got left to do is just, I'm gonna mount the bar first and then go ahead and um, cut the wire to length uh, over here. So that, that way it's not too long and hanging. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. So hope you guys find this helpful um, in how you guys wire a Ram 2500, 1500, 35, whatever it may be. Um, this was super easy to install. I'm pretty happy with it. I'll have to see how it goes uh, when it's dark out, um, and we'll get some shots of that. I'm wondering if we're going to be able to see with it or not uh, as well as we think we, we should be able to. Um, but anyways, without further ado, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys find this video helpful. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, if not, 